Hey, this is Wes McDermott with Unity Cookie, and in this quick tip video, we're going to take a look at how an enumeration works in C Sharp. So this is something that I use uh, quite often in my projects, and I just kind of want to share with you the workflow of how you can use an enumeration. And so what that's going to allow us to do is here in our hierarchy, say that we have an item, and um, we'll go ahead and just make one real quick. So let's just go and make a, an empty game object. So we have our game object here, and then in our inspector, let's just say that we have um, a, a variable or something that we want to change in our game, and, and we want to give it a few options. So like we want to be able to have like basically a drop-down list to say like uh, while we're here in our editor and we're setting up our project, we want to be able to come over to the drop-down list and say like um, I want to I want this game object to do uh, this type of uh, motion or or this other motion or or something like that or move in this direction versus that direction or something and it's something that we want to be able to set through like a like a list and so um, I'm going to show you how to set that up so first thing we're going to do is go over here and create a new C sharp script and um, let's see I guess I'll just call this uh, here we'll just say example our examples and so now we have a, a C sharp script let's go ahead and just double click to open this here in model develop and uh, this this will make more sense once once you actually see this working here in the editor and so uh, like I, like I said the, the idea is that we want to be, we want to create uh, you know a variable that allows us to select from you know a set of options and so to start what we're gonna do is um, let's just go ahead and start to create this enumeration variable so first thing we want to do is we're gonna make this public uh, so it's accessible to us in the inspector and then uh, we want to use a, a type called enum so we'll just type enum and you can see the code hints are helping us out here so we have this and in this case I'm gonna call this direction this is what I used in my project so my project it was um, it was an item it was a uh, basically I had a button and the button uh, basically I was using it to it was used throughout for, for different things in the project and I want to be able to have the button to where you know when the user clicked on it it may uh, always progress uh, progress the character forward or it may progress the character backward but you know I didn't want to make a separate back button a separate forward button all that stuff so basically I used this direction uh, enumeration here to basically build myself to kind of this drop down where I could select either forward or backward and again it'll make more sense here once we start to see this so um, I've got public enum direction and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to add in um, some curly braces here uh, so it already looks a bit different uh, if you have never seen these before it already looks a bit different than your typical variable and so now that we have uh, basically this enumeration defined here within these uh, curly braces is where we want to actually put in uh, the items we want to use so let's do this let's do uh, forward I'm just going to type in the forward and I'm going to say comma uh, then the next thing I'm going to do is type in another value, so I'm going to say backwards. So these, again, these are the directions. These are like just, just string value directions that I'm typing in here. Uh, so let's just say uh, forward, backward, uh, left, and then we'll, we'll do right. So we have some directions here, forward, backward, left, and right, and here's my enumeration here. So now we'll go ahead and save this script, and I'm going to go ahead and just drop down a few more lines here. So we have the enumeration defined. Now the we also need to um, define uh, another variable which is basically going to um, reference this enumeration so what we're gonna do at this point is say public now the type for this variable is going to be of type direction of this enumeration that we're creating so here we're gonna say again direction and let me just back that up a second so if, as you see as I start to type in direction you notice that the code hint here is giving me uh, this different symbol here and you can see that it's uh, enumeration class okay and then it gives me kind of like this little code in here of examples dot direction so that's basically giving me the code syntax of how I'm going to um, reference the items within that enumeration and again that will make more sense here in just a moment so let's just go ahead and say direction and now that's the type so notice that it matches this uh, it matches um, this word here this direction it's matching that because this is basically we've defined this um, it, it's I don't know the way I kinda look at it, it's like I almost it's, it's like an object that we've created basically and again I'm not a, a programming master by any means I'm uh, you know m more of a kind of a artist so I'm this is kind of my right-brained um, explanation here for you um, but you know I'm looking at this it's like an object 
Okay, so it's an object and it has uh, these values within this object. And so we've defined that. But we haven't actually defined the actual variable that we're going to use within the inspector. That's, that's what we're doing here. So public direction, it's type of this direction. That's what we're talking about. And now what I'll do is I'll just name this here. So I'm going to call this just um, direction. Okay, lowercase. And I'll put a semicolon on that. And so now this is what you'll actually see uh, once we get uh, here into, um, once we get inside the uh, Unity editor. So now we have this in place. Let's just go ahead and save this and let's just jump back over to Unity. And uh, let's select this game object. Let's take this script and let's left click, drag and drop it right here into the inspector. And now you can see uh, what I was talking about with, this, with these drop down options. So here's our script uh, on our game object. We have direction, and now you can see here that we have forward. If I click right here on forward, you can see that now I have this cool little drop down here that allows me to pick different options. So this is basically, you know, for an object that's going to be reusable and may do different things. So for instance, let's say this game object is in charge of moving in different directions, uh, but not all at once. It's just like, you know, uh, this object... Uh, at, at, for this scene, it only wants to go right. So let's just say that, okay, well, then I set it as right. And then finally, um, you know, maybe in another scene or another instance of this object, it wants to go left. So I can just go ahead and change that. So we'll go ahead and uh, set these values here. And so uh, let's jump back over to Mono Develop and let's take a look at how we actually use this. So, so far in the code, you've seen how we've set up the enumeration and then we've set up our public variable here that allows us to access that enumeration here within our code. But now, how do we go ahead and, and actually use this? So, what I'm going to do is I'm not using the update, so I'm just going to go ahead and change. Uh, I'll tell you what, yeah, let's change the update. Let's just do this in the update. And eh, let's not, let's not. I'm just going to blow out this update function here. We're not going to use it. So all I'm going to do really is just show you how to access these values. All right, so right here in our start, so when the when this game first runs, we're going to just basically log out some information so we can see how this works. Okay, so right here within uh, our start, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a switch statement. So I'm going to say switch, and this is, uh, and if you haven't seen this in code, this is uh, uh, another conditional piece of logic that's going to allow us to uh, check a value of something and then do one thing or the other based off what the value is telling us. So here we're going to do switch, uh, and basically switch is pretty good because um, it, instead of saying um, if you know this is true, do this. If this is true, do that, and so on, and so on, and making like you know four or five different if statements. We can just wrap all that into one switch statement. So it's it's um, pretty good to use. Um, so here we go. Let's do first switch. So switch is basically saying like okay, in this part of the parentheses, we're going to say uh, okay, what what are we going to test? What is our you know what are we checking to see the values of? And that's going to be our variable here, direction. So here we'll go in and we'll type direction, and then we'll close the parenthesis on that. Now let's go ahead and just kind of create our structure. So we're going to add our left and right braces. So now we have our switch statement, we have our braces, but you can see we're already getting a little bit of an error here, and that's because there's more syntax to the switch statement itself. So what we're going to do in this case is, um, well, it's funny I say that, because you have to actually type the word case in here. So um, now it's asking me case of what? It's already kind of letting me know that, well, you're looking for direction, so we've got to, it's, it's already trying to let me know that. Well, I know that you're probably talking about this enumeration. And so um, what we're going to do is we're going to say, uh, we're going to basically, a case is basically what we want to test for. So, so uh, in this situation, we're going to say direction. Now let's just do dot. Now you can see that all those options, so the same options that we placed up here in our enumeration are now available to us. So let's just say case direction dot forward. And that is the syntax here of how we get to these values that are in that enumeration. So we're saying we want to test direction, so what state is direction in, and the case of direction dot forward, and then the last part of the syntax of this is you just put a colon here. And then we'll go one line under, and we'll say, um, uh, in this case, we'll just say, uh, well, here, let's do that. Let's do debug dot log. So we're going to log out, and we're going to say uh, forward. So I'm just going to just print out basically a string value here. And uh, then that, that's basically the syntax here for the switch statement. And then finally what you want to do after that is you just say break. So in, if this condition has been met, then we break out of this, this, uh, this logic here. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Um, here, let's just go ahead and keep that like that. So um, now let's go ahead and do another case in that. So remember before I said, uh, you know, how when you have a switch, it's kind of like, you know, uh, getting around having like several like if, if, if statements and testing different things. Let's do another case. So let's say case uh, direction dot and let's say backward and then 
colon, and then we'll say debug dot log. And in this case, we'll say just uh, backward. And then finally, we'll break. And then let's do another one. Let's do case uh, direction uh, dot left. All right, and then colon, and then again uh, debug dot log, and then we'll say uh, left. And we'll, we'll do it. That's that'll uh, that'll be enough there. And then finally, break. And that's what we're going to do here. So now we have uh, basically this information set up. And so uh, now we've saved that script. Let's go back over to Unity. Uh, let's make sure our console is, console is uh, in view here. And now I'm going to hit play. And you're going to see that right off the bat we, we go ahead and we print forward because forward is set. Now let's uh, turn this, uh, let's stop our game and let's change it. This time let's say left because remember left is one of the values we're checking for in that switch statement. So now if I go ahead and hit play you can see now we get left so that's basically kind of what I wanted to show you with this and it's just uh, you can use enumerations to kind of build out these little menu items and I use it quite often a lot of my project especially when I'm kind of building things that I want to be able to reuse and have an object do different things based off you know uh, certain types of parameters that I set to it so enumerations can be very powerful